About a week or so ago, I addressed a couple of tables for a Chef Thomas's event, the Chefs of the World Taste of Fame. So I wanted to quickly show you how I made these bronze painted plates and how to do an easy but elegant napkin fold for your own dinner or event. Now, I liked my Pier 1 inspired vase so much that I decided to make a few more pieces for the Chefs of the World event. So I wanted to have some plates to decorate the table that went along with the pieces that were in the center. And there's a video on how to, how to do this if you haven't seen it already. So anyway, um, this is the plate that I created and I used the Dollar Tree plate um, for that. And this worked out well because this plate has the um, relief pattern on the, on the back. So I painted the back of it and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so for this project, I'm using a Dollar Tree plate. I'm using an antique copper metallic paint, craft paint, and a flat black craft paint. So what we're going to do, and also a sponge brush, what we're going to do is turn the plate over and we're out some metallic paint. Now use this sponge brush and just, I want to get a light um, coat on the sponge. I don't want the paint to seep into the cracks, so I'm just going to lightly brush across the plate. You want to just lightly cover those um, top relief areas. If you want, you could hold it up, kind of hold it up to the light to see if you need to tap any other place, like maybe right here. We're painting the copper on first because the plate is going to be upside down. So um, unlike the other pieces, I painted the black first and then I painted the copper on top of it. But since this plate is going to be turned over, I want the copper to show and then the black to show underneath it. So let's let that dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to get a paintbrush because we're going to use a paintbrush for the black paint. And what I'm going to do is just paint over the whole plate, especially in the cracks. So I want everything to be black. Hold it up to the light. You can see if you missed any areas. You can go back. and just sort of brush lightly wherever you missed. Okay, so now the plate is dry and this is what it looks like. These plates are only for decoration, so guests will not be eating on these. These are just placeholders. They were made to complement the centerpiece and to hold the napkins. Now I'll show you how to do a fancy napkin fold called the fleur de lis. So what you're going to do is take the napkin and fold it in half so that it looks like a triangle. And then you're going to fold, take each end and fold it down to the bottom corner like that. And then what you're going to do is fold the top down 
so that it's almost at the bottom, but not quite. Okay, then you're going to turn that over. And fold the two top ends. And, and you're going to tuck the corner um, of one piece into the other corner like that so this is tucking right up in there tuck it in there pretty good and then you're going to turn it around stand it up like it's a hat like that you're going to take the the front end front little flap and fold it down and take the two the right and the left flaps and fold them down and there you have a little fleur de lis fancy napkin